Welcome to the Put On Waivers Media Group, home of the Put On Raiders podcast and the Student Body Right podcast. This is your place for the best breakdowns and the best insight for those who fight on and bleed silver and black. Now, here are your hosts, Dwayne Douglas and Ryan Holmes. Welcome everybody to the glorious episode of the Student Body Right USC podcast. I'm your host, Dwayne Douglas, along with myself. I almost said Ryan Holmes, but he doesn't do this show. <laughs> um, make sure you rate, review, and subscribe. Um, as always, we are podcasting about the beautiful shores of the Pacific Ocean, a beautiful day out here in Southern California. P O R S B R is my Twitter handle. P O R S B R um, is my Twitter handle. So check us out there. Um, shout out to a couple other sites um, USB Analytic, USC Analytics. Um, it gets some great information, great stats on games and stuff like that. So shout out to him and also fight on Rusty as well too. They do they they really give you some really good information about games. So if you're on if you're on the X or Twitter whatever they call it, make sure you check them out as well too. And um, that's pretty cool as well. So USC wins 48, 42, 28. People are upset. People are mad. People are saying all these things. Um, Lincoln Riley did say today that Rajon Davis is going to be a big part of what USC does. So look for that to be a thing going forward. You got to kind of hold him to that. Um, it could, who knows? It could have been disciplinary. Who knows what could have happened? Why he didn't take a single snap in the game? Um, we'll see what happens. Maybe he, maybe they really just wanted to see what Mason Cobb would do. Um, you know, Mason Cobb and you know, and Tackett Curtis together. I mean, let's just keep the rotation going. Like, if, like if you want that to be like part of it, let's just keep the rotation going and let's see Gentry. I mean, the numbers when Gentry's on the field are just incredible. Like they just really, they really are really good. So um, let's just keep Gentry on the field and and you know and if, if if they're running the football, obviously you can bring in some you know bring in um, other people to stop the run. Like John Davis for one, um, you know people like that. So that can really create. There's a rotation. It's seemingly there's a rotation everywhere, but this game was really a game where they kind of just wanted to see Rajon, they, uh, they wanted to see Tackett Curtis and Mason Cobb play together. I mean, they really wanted to see that in this game and they saw it. And I, I don't think it was, I don't think it was great, um, but, you know, we'll see, we'll see if they do, what they do to get better. As far as that goes, they still are, you know, I think they're first in, in, in tackles for loss and third and third in sacks, as far as that goes. They did have eight sacks for um, 12 tackles for loss in this game. And before you say, oh my God, they're playing Arizona State, that that happened, it doesn't, but that doesn't happen all the time. So if it was that easy to do those things, then it would happen to all these all these teams all the time. So um good job by the defensive line getting that pressure. The blitzing was good. And I'm telling you, like I just feel like this is like the Kansas City Chiefs of the of college football. A lot of ways, USC is a college Kansas City team of, of, of college football. They have a quarterback that's very comparable to Mahomes. And the way Spagnolo plays defense with the Chiefs, where they're just trying to make big plays, trying to get turnovers, that's the way Alice Grinch plays. And some people like it, some people don't like it. We'll see. But I do know, like, I mean, I'm not killing him, in the, killing him yet. I would say this. When you're looking at these games, and I'm saying to myself, like, when a player is in position – to make a tackle the same way when on Scatterbow's little swing pass where he you know broke two tackles and and scored a 60 yard whatever 40 yard touchdown like at some point the player gotta do what he gotta do so, I mean it's fourth down like 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 the reckon is to recognize that it, 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 it's either going to Elijah or Scatterbow nobody else really caught any passes in this game and if it's your side and Scatterboo's on that side, you got to be able to make a play on the ball or knock him out of bounds so that doesn't that doesn't that doesn't happen. Um, you know, Max Williams also missed a tackle as well, got ran over in the process, kind of closed his eyes, didn't see what he was hitting, and that's and that, it, it's always going to look bad because it's always going to go on that it's going to go on that highlight reel for Arizona State for the rest of the season. People are going to say people are going to see that and say, oh my God, this is why US that's why I can't trust USC. That's a big thing. Like, you know, can we trust USC? Can we trust USC? I don't know if they can trust USC, but I know that that's a big that's a big factor in, in, in this whole thing. Like, can they can they be trusted defensively? And I think I, I think so far it's been okay. Um, you know, it's been I, I am not as concerned with the defense as everybody else is. I think they are a little bit shaky on at corner. I would probably 
in my mind, really just kind of see what the younger branch um, has at, at safety, um, especially in games like this. Give them, give them some snaps and some critical moments to see what see what happens there. Um, you know, especially with the way Max Williams can be up and down. I, he can be, definitely be up and down. Um, it just seems like you know, people are talk, talking about, hey, you know, Alex Grinch is kind of setting his ways. I, like I said, the way they've been playing right now, this has been, it's been a while since USC has had a defensive line that could generate this much pressure on the quarterback. And I think what you remember, Height did a really good, they did a really good job in this game. I kind of sat down and watched Deion Sanders, um, Coach Prime's uh, press conference today, and they're really going to try to focus on running the football this week. And I think that with that being said, with all the movement they have on the lines, with all the movement they like to do up front, all the games they like to do up front, you saw uh, you saw a couple of times in the Arizona game, Arizona State game, where they almost positioned themselves out of, of gap containment as far as those runs go. How many times did you – it was like three or four times, I think, in this game, there was like a – it was like third and eight or more, and they just handed it off to the running back and got a first down. Like, that's not really – Good football. That's not what you want as far as playing playing defense in this game. But like I said, it's going to be a tough situation because you do want to, you want to get those big plays. They got a couple of turnovers. Going to have some more. They did force a um, a, a scatabo, um turn um, fumble in that game, but then the offensive lineman from Arizona State recovered it. So you know it's 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 either here or there. Like we're never going to be happy with it. I mean, like, I, I think that you know, like you know, look at what look at Washington. Everybody says, oh, you, Washington has passed USC. Like Cal's really bad, and Cal had 500 yards of offense in that game, like against 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 Washington, and nobody's coming after Washington like that. So we'll see what happens there. Eight five eight two nine nine five five nine two is our text line, so take a check us out there as well. Um, so the linebacking core, we know what the linebacking core is. Um, we want we want to see. I think I think the prevailing thought is like we just want to see every. I want to see all the pieces play. I want to see all the pieces play. And I want to see just the rotation, just to keep everybody involved. Like I don't, I don't, I don't think anybody has stood out besides Rayshon Davis, besides Rayshon Davis in, or, uh, in in some of these games. I have not seen anybody just completely dominate yet. So it seems like it's the most questionable part of the of the USC of the USC football team. And but they have talent there, so it's kind of a mixed bag, if you will, as far as far as that goes. So we'll have to see um, what happens there um you know yeah you, you gotta hold you gotta kind of kind of gotta hold him to his word you know he's you know the, the head coach did say that that Rashawn Davis is going to play a lot and it can be a big factor on this football team and we got to make sure we um we, we kind of hold we kind of hold him to that because you know he is he's he just he's just solid and consistent and especially against the run like if the teams are going to run the football against them I really think that is something that um, you want to see um, USC kind of, kind of, kind of have him and Shane Lee kind of just kind of the thumpers come in and shut down the run, if you will. Wide receiver, and I think Max, Ma, um, I'm sorry, Super Super Mario is getting on a little getting on getting people are really getting on. He's got people's nerves, and I know it's getting frustrating for him and frustrating for fans as well when he gets to when he, these drops are getting getting continuous like he has to stop he has to stop dropping the football like I know that I know he wants to make a big play I know that for him it's like okay this could be the one or two patches that I have for the whole game but I mean they've you know Caleb Williams and Lincoln Riley are not one of these guys who are just going to put throw you on the bench and throw you to the side I mean last year that was Brendan Rice dropping passes left and right right and then towards the end of the season he came on strong and now he's one of the best receivers in college football and making big plays down the field for the Trojans, um, if you will. So maybe that's something that is that's going to borrow my. That's going to keep. That's keep. That keeps, like, kind of stopping Mario Williams. It's just that dropping the ball consistently. Hopefully, that can he can stop doing it, and they can continue to kind of show some progression with, with him because there are people like Michael Jackson. There's all people. You know, this this wide receiving core is just huge. Um, and you, there's not a shortage of talent there, so you got to make sure you do what you have to do um, in this situation to keep to keep your role on the team. Um, Dorian Singer, I just feel like it's a, I feel like it's, a, it's just that one game. It could be this weekend, 
that one game where you just see that that, that explosion from from Dorian Singer, and then you're gonna say, okay, Dorian Singer is is as is is as, is as advertised. It's great that they have this kind of depth at wide receiver, so you don't have to worry about injury or anything like that. But I like I said, it's it's a t- it, the room is unsel- unselfish as hell because nobody they all pull for each other. You don't hear anybody griping about. Nobody sending tweets out and 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 you know making notes in their iPhones and then just then us um screenshotting it and putting on putting it on the X app or Twitter app. Nobody's doing that for the wide receiving core, so should be really should be should be. I would not worry about it too much, if you will, as far as as far as that goes. They really do respect each other and they are um kind of a one unit in that wide receiver room as well. I forgot to give props to the to special teams. We talked special teams on this game. Dennis Lynch hit in a um uh, a huge um a huge 50 yard field goal great job by him uh i thought he was i thought he was fantastic he's been fantastic um all year this year i thought maybe the kid um tyler robles would push him a little bit but he's been really good um and and, and that's a that's a good thing because as they as usc gets to these tougher games you're going to be in situations where you're playing some tough teams you want to make sure you want to really make sure that you have you have that ability to um to make a field goal when you need to, and and in a tight game against against Utah, against Notre Dame, and against Washington and Oregon. So you, so that's gonna be big as well. Last thing, look at the decision making. You saw a little bit of the freshmanness, if you will, of Zachariah Branch, not knowing on the road, first game on the road with USC, did not do a great job of um deciding on when to come out come out of the um of the end zone or when to come or, or, or when to just take a knee and take the touchback. So that was a good learning experience. You want to, I mean, at least he had that experience in this game and not at Notre Dame or not at, or, or, or not, or not at um, Oregon. Right. So they had that game. Good job by him kind of, kind of collecting himself and kind of seeing he did, he did put the ball on the ground. His knee was down, but even when your knee is down as a ball carrier, you still don't like to see a fumble. So, you gotta watch those as well too. So, uh, so USC. I'm um, just, just kind of some quick news and notes. Once I get the all twenty two, I'll kind of look at I'll look at some stuff, and I do want to talk about the running game when I get the all twenty two because I think Marshawn Lloyd is deserves a lot of love, and he is definitely going to be. He's putting himself into a, a nice class here as far as future um, NFL prospect, and also as far as in, in college football, one of the best running backs in all of college football as well. Zero is definitely no zero at all. Um, as far as playing, he has been as advertised and really and been pretty good, and probably one of the top prospects, the top um, transfers, I should say, to USC in the transfer portal as well. So, all right, eight five eight two nine nine five five nine two text line. I want to see some of those questions you guys have, and I hit up some of the comments you guys have as well too on the on the um, on the channel. So we'll get those going as well to you. So, hey. It's, it's the Buffalo week, right? It's prime time week. It's prime time, prime time, prime time. We'll, we'll, do a, we'll do a preview of that game coming up next episode. All right, fight on. Oh, sorry, fight on. I did it the wrong way. This is peace. This is fight on.